Today, we were supposed to be showing you an NLW special. The Road to Chicago, Illinois. NLW 101 was supposed to air live next Saturday night, but instead, because of technical issues, that means the schedule was open for another segment. And I felt it was necessary to provide my side of the story in light of recent comments made by Mr. Steve Austin and John Cena. Now all of you have been hearing for the past few weeks is that No Limits Wrestling is this big bad corporate beast controlled by a megalomaniac. But I am here to set the record straight. In light of the slander towards myself. It is true, because of budget cuts, I had to cancel Metal. It was nothing personal, it was just business. Now, my practices have been brought into question. Hiring my friend Shawn Michaels as the commissioner of NLW, signing Conor McGregor to a multi-million dollar contract, but what you people fail to understand is, is that these are business decisions that will make us more money in the long run. The budget had to be sliced. Stone Cold couldn't keep running the show like he was, and he had to go. Now, I've cut the budget. We are making more money than ever. And if it takes putting some people out of the job, so be it, because I'm not going to lose sleep over it. But on NLW 100, that was supposed to be my crowning achievement. My chance to explain my vision to the world, but instead, Trey White of My Damn Toys. I'll admit, I didn't see it coming. He decided to do some deals behind my back. Look, I said I was going to sell metal to an anonymous buyer, and then in walks Stone Cold Steve Austin, the savior of metal. After I fired his ass on live television, and just a few weeks later, it appears he's my competition. Well, competition would be an exaggeration. Maybe we could call Metal a developmental league. So, I find out now that Metal Wrestling is starting up in January. It's its new separate entity from No Limits Wrestling. A brand new company startup. Its own roster, a new six-sided ring, which, let's call it for what it is, a playpen. And now a new pay-per-view called Metal Wrestling Revival. Well, I'm here to tell you that Revival will be short-lived. Because guys like Stone Cold Steve Austin, other companies like Metal Wrestling thrive on being mentioned by the big leagues like us. Well, I'm here to tell Mr. Austin, that if he uses any NLW intellectual property, I will sue him for everything he's got. In fact, I should sue every single one of the Metal Wrestling employees for invading NLW 100. Actually, let's call them for what they are. They are ex-NLW employees that couldn't make the cut. And Drew McIntyre, don't think I've forgotten about you kicking me in the face. You're lucky you don't work for me anymore, because if you did work for me, I'd make your life a living hell. And I didn't want to talk about metal wrestling, but I guess now I have no choice. The war is on. Well, that's fine. I've been to war in business before, and I'm willing to do it again. A new year is coming, and I would predict by the end of 2022, metal wrestling will be out of business and all of your employees will be crawling back to me begging for a job. And I'll let them do their thing because I am too busy focusing on NLW WrestleMania 5. Because it's set to be one of the biggest shows in company history, featuring a man set to challenge for the NLW Championship at that event, the Royal Rumble winner, the Prince, Finn Balor. And as of right now, Finn Balor is a free agent. He has not re-signed with Metal Wrestling, and I don't want to give you any spoilers as to whether or not he is signed to NLW, but I will say I would expect him to show his face in Chicago for NLW 101. Look, 
Austin, I'm sorry Finn didn't want to work for your second-rate company, but like I said, it's just business. And also, with all of this going on recently, with the technical failures, the hard drive crashes, it looks like Metal Wrestling's start date has been pushed back, which is unfortunate, isn't it? It's almost, I don't know, too coincidental, wouldn't you say? It's almost like it wasn't a technical failure at all. Maybe the hard drives were tampered by someone with a lot of power. A lot of influence. Maybe this is a warning, Mr. Austin, that you don't know who you're dealing with. The most ruthless person in professional wrestling today. And I hear you've even bought yourself a front row seat to our next NLW show in Chicago. Stone Cold Steve Austin live in person to witness the best wrestling brand today. You want to scout? You want to take your little notes? You paid your money? Hell, you have the right to do that. But John Cena? If you show your face in Chicago, I will throw your ass out. As a matter of fact, Mr. Hometown Boy, CM Punk. I want to inform all of the NLW fans not to get their hopes up at seeing a metal wrestling contracted performer show up at that event. Because CM Punk will not be in Chicago for NLW 101, I can assure you. But we have a hell of a card for NLW 101. The X Division Championship will be on the line, Mustafa Ali and Will Ospreay. The Ministry of Darkness will relay their vision for NLW, as will I. And also, we will have some shocking debuts, some unforgettable action, such as the street fight between the OC, the APA, and Orange Cassidy, and even more to be announced. But you know what? That's in the future. If I could sum up this whole current situation, it seems like I'm being painted as some sort of boogeyman, the bad guy in all of this. And if that's what you want to call innovative, business savvy, then that's fine by me. Metal wrestling is just a fad. No Limits Wrestling is the future, with me as the executive vice president at the helm of this wrestling revolution. Keep your assets, keep your second-rate performers, just know if you try and mess with NLW again, I'm here to tell you right now, this is a war you will not win. Because in this war, it doesn't matter how much metal you got. With what we're prepared to do, there are no limits.